Reviewing Featherborn. It's a game made by somebody I know for a game jam, and they decided to take it into a full thing. This is made by Roku Studios. They're a new developer, so right off the bat, uh, you might see my mouse here, but this game does not actually allow mouse control. I'm using WASD right now. I don't know if the controls are only pick one or the other between that arrow keys. Uh, let's try the gamepad. Okay, gamepad works too. Using an Xbox controller. Let's knock the volume down a little bit and head back into it. Uh, it does not, it only, so it does not allow uh, D-pad control only. Stick movement control. And you must click it looks like B is to interact right now instead of A, so that's a bit weird, but other than that, it looks fine. I love this art style, by the way. Animations look just a bit off going diagonally, but I mean, hey, what can you expect? Does look good. Chicken runs away from me. You can, you can attack, right? Uh, no tutorial, which I mean, obviously that takes time. You can attack the chicken. What is this? Guard, maybe? Okay, right trigger is guard. A is to attack. Other two buttons don't seem to do anything right now. Okay, come here, chicken. I don't know if you can actually kill this chicken or not, or if this is just a... I'm just abusing the chicken, which it could be. Okay, oh, okay. So... Shield bash. Ah, okay. I do remember the menu of that, so I assume... Cutscene. Nice. Sent that boy flying. Nice. Okay, one swipe. It's a pretty good cutscene. Nice music, good intro. Cuts off a little abruptly there. I think the fade time could do with a little bit of change. Other than that, it's pretty good. So let's say if you try to immediately do it, it looks like it always goes. Never mind. I spoke too soon. Start race. Race player. Okay. Yo, we love, we love item, uh, breakable stuff. Okay. You have attacks in all directions. Chicken is, <laughs> chicken's going a bit crazy here, but hey, what, the, what can you do? Okay. Race. Nice fun mini game. I have four feather coins, I assume. I don't see a counter here, so maybe that'll be a pop-up that gets added later. Animations are pretty good. The transitions could use a little work, but... Other than that, quick transition to the village. Oh, okay, this is this is cool. I can actually see my character behind the thing as a shadow instead of having to guess where I need to go. All right, town guard. Don't switch things. Okay, still. Uh, okay, B is still interactive. Looks like there's been a ferocious beast spotted past this point. Hurt, but. I'll take care of it. Check it out. A letter from the town elder. Bring it to me and I'll believe your status. Main quest pop up. Love it. Is there a way? Okay, it's a pause menu. And that's inventory. So there's no back to title screen or save, which I assume will get added later. Oh, the quit to desktop doesn't uh, fully cover the same area as the resume thing. Okay. 
See resident uh, inventory. Okay, so you can only go one way. You can't go all the way around. Get a letter of approval from the village elder to prove that you can fight the monster. You have relics. Has been explained yet. Okay. Map, no map data acquired yet. Okay. Oh, so it's not this. This doesn't pause the game. It just pause. It doesn't pause anything. Okay. Map, letter from the village elder, right? I gotta stop pressing A. I'm gonna end up attacking somebody by accident trying to interact with them. Is that a cat? It's the freaking chicken, dude. Get out of here. It's a cool looking raven. I love this art style so much. I love how the chickens freak, freak out when you hit them. They just like vibrate back and forth. I think that's pretty interesting. Pretty nice looking map. Is this the way to the village elder? Question mark? Uh, did I miss a sign? Okay, overlook. Looks like my life this distance. Maybe like we're gonna have to go there someday. Uh, I wish that day would come. Me too. I'm excited for the day this doesn't become. Oh. I don't know what I just picked up. I'm excited for the day this this game becomes not a uh, demo. I killed it? What did I get? Uh, I'll write this. Blacksmith's trusty hammer, vial of venom from the local snakes can be used as a powerful agent of potions or deadly trap your choice. Okay. Interesting. I probably should have seen. Do those guys attack? I didn't even think to check. It looks like there is like an actual hitbox for the sword too. So like the sword swings, they don't hit if it's really close to you since that snake is pretty close. For instance, let me test this actually. So if I get real close to you. Yeah, so if he's close enough to me, it just won't hit him. Okay. Is this the way to the village elder? It's a raven. This monument stands as a reminder of the great raven's order. They may they forever reign. All hail the eternal justice. There's lore. I'll do a lore dive into this video, into this game. I don't care. <coughs> I'll become a lore YouTuber just to, just specifically, exclusively to cover this game. Hello, warrior. Thank you for the service to our kingdom. In your space, your head, evening sparrow was always open. I heard there was a monster raid in your town. We feel much safer with you here already. Where was it last seen? I remember seeing a guard around this area. It was last seen. Hold on, can I talk to you again? Oh, okay. Oh, so you can still interact with him. Okay, the prompt just doesn't show. Ask about the hooded girl from before. Hooded girl, you said she have a silver mask. Silver mask, I never mind. She must have been passing through then. Okay, so if you walk away and come back, the prompt shows up. But you can always interact with him. It just doesn't always show up. We're going to talk about her traveler. Best you forget him if you don't want to get in trouble with the order. Sir, I am the order. I am law. I am justice. Who is that? Looks like a blacksmith because he has a hammer. Oh, shit, he has character art. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Hello, I'm the town blacksmith. Seems like your weapon has gotten dull. I'm in charge of making all the weapons in the capital. Come over here, I'm to you. You find my hammer. I seem to have lost it. Well, lucky for you, good sir. I have your hammer already. Thank you for finding it for me. Oh, I like how it didn't auto-complete, too. I had to, like, come back and actually talk to him. Okay, I assume that's the end of his dialogue tree, then, since he's telling me to come back later. Can I go into his house? No. I can clip through the sprites, though. It boxes for the win! Let us find the village elder. I didn't see any postage. That looks like a village elder's residence. Hold on a second. What's back here? Oh, is this the other side of that? I can't look at that. Is this the other side of the bench area? Yes, yes it is. Uh, I wish I could. I kind of wish I could admire the art here, but oh well. Yes, let me enter your bedroom. So I may talk to a wise village elder. Hello, warrior. Hello. I know what you seek. Many ask for it, but many are disappointed. I see that you are most important to you. Your royal seal tells me everything. I'll grant you what you desire. Here, take it. This letter verifies your identity to those who require. It was very alliterative of you. 
alliterative like alliteration, not alliterative like illiterate. I don't actually know the the full the actual word to use there. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I like the shadows that appear. That'll let you see your character. Chicken is still freaking out. Be afraid. Be very afraid of me. Run. Um, but yeah, I think that has to do with there no, not being any like s specific diagonal uh, animations. I could be wrong. I'm not a game developer. None of the games I've made have finished development. They're all still in development and probably will be forever. Hello again. Alright, so I'm gonna go fight stuff with my dull sword. Somebody's lair. Ooh, arena. Okay. Okay, so the. the ooh. Oh, so do I have to actually... How does that work? Hold on. So shield, that's not a shield bash then. So it didn't actually do anything to the snake either. Animation freeze, okay. Woo! Hey, I was far enough away. Also, how do I know what how much health I have? Is it the number of feathers? It is not- oh, it is the number of feathers. Okay, I see underneath that little thing. They do blend in, though. Oh, shit! Run! Run away! Uh, what is happening? That shield bash mechanic is not something I'm getting used to yet. I'll have to get used to it. Why does it push me so far back too? Okay, so if I bash into an attack, I just don't take damage. Okay. But it still bounces me back. And it doesn't seem to do that much damage. Okay, that was on me. Oh, okay. We just gotta run away now. I assume I just need to keep moving to not get hit by that. Okay. Yeah, it looks like I am just gotta keep moving. It's a pretty simple boss fight. I like how it's a phased boss fight too. It's not just like a straight up uh, do these. It's uh, not like a spend 15 minutes Swinging your sword at a thing while uh, dodging two attacks occasionally fight. Okay, sprites got a little messed up there. Sprite order did, but other than that, it's pretty good. Snake. Snake has fallen. Rest in peace, snake. Interact. Was that a full heal? Did I get an extra feather, or was that just a regular full heal? Beating the soul star. Coiled, coiled terror. Marks the end of the Featherborn demo. I hope you had fun. If you want this game to be fun, please just support Kickstarter. Thanks for playing. I hope your demo gets excited for the real thing. Boku Studios team. That was a heartwarming ending. Very good. Game was pretty fun. I like the demo. I can't wait to see where it goes. Thank you for sharing it with me. I cannot wait to play, I guess, the next demo or the full thing if it comes out. Um, Yeah. I'll leave a link to the their Kickstarter down below, and uh, I promise to upload more soon, I guess. I have another round of college, but then I'm done for a long time, so until then, 
So support the Featherborn demo devs in Boko Studios. Bo Boko, Boku Studios. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. See ya. Thank you.